Hey there, Wondering Watchers. Thank you for tuning in to my channel and welcome to this pick a card reading to see what your ex is feeling about you, what they want from you, and how things would be if you got back together. You may have a particular ex in mind that you want to know for this reading, but try to keep an open mind because there might be messages for you regarding someone that you haven't thought about in a while or a connection that you didn't think was quite serious at the time. Also keep in mind that these cards only provide perspective. You have agency over your life and you make the decisions about how you experience it. Your choices and your actions lead to the ultimate truth of your situation. For those of you ready right now to see what's going on with an X, the link to each reading is in the description box below. I have in front of me four piles of cards for the reading. Pile number one, Neoteric Feminine Tarot. Pile number two, The Dark Mansion Tarot. Pile number three, Tarot Disassembled. And pile four, Modern Love Tarot. Pick the pile of cards that you feel drawn to the most for your reading. If you don't receive a specific message that you're hoping to hear in one of the pile readings, then pick another pile. If you don't get any messages you're hoping to hear in any of the pile readings, then it may not be for your best and highest good to hear that particular message at this time. Trust your intuition to lead you to the right reading. You can pause the video if you need more time to review the deck choices. Once you've made your decision, go to the description box and click on the link for the corresponding pile. Now it's time to tap into these cards Choose your ex tarot adventure and let's make magic happen. Welcome back. This is the reading for group number one, those who pick Neo Taric Feminine Tarot to explore the potential comeback of your ex and what they might want from you this time. We're going to start with an energy check of the connection you had with your ex for additional confirmation of whether this reading is right for you. So I'm going to be pulling some oracle cards that might represent issues or unanswered questions, themes of your connection or how you remembered them. So we have here heartbreak and guarded. So group number one, it could be that this heartbreak pertains to your particular connection with your ex and them being guarded or you being guarded because of that but it also could indicate something about how they came to you in the first place we also have you're so special you're truly divine i've never felt energy like yours before and i can't get enough and showing out I'm acting like I don't care about what's happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So perhaps there were kind of times in your relationship where they kind of seem cooler than you thought they should, or perhaps they were saying things that, um, you know, like they had never felt something this strong before we have the thought of you drives me crazy that could be in a positive way it also could be a negative way it depends on how that resonates with you or not and i am learning a spiritual lesson so these could pertain to you it also could pertain to your ex like i said how you remember them, things that might have been brought up during your relationship or as things were, were ending. So now we're going to take a look at what they are seeking right now. We have the King of Pentacles. So your ex may be wanting to have a lot of uh, material things to make them either feel secure or to distract them from dealing with more deeper issues. Um, 
they might be focused on their career path, um, making sure that they, they have things. So let's see how they feel about you, group number one. We have the Eight of Cups. So it seems like they feel like they need to move on, that you need to move on. Let's see how they feel about getting back together with you. We have here the Eight of Swords. So with Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, it kind of seems like that's something they are not wanting. Uh, it's a little bit too difficult for them, perhaps. Um, maybe they wouldn't know how to, expl to explain it with other, to other people. Maybe they kind of have already kind of um, created this is kind of catching my attention, like acting like they don't care about what's happened um, and appearing unbothered. Like, so to go back would kind of give that impression that they were bothered, that they did care. So let's see what would be their intention getting back together with you or what they would want from you. You have here the three of wands. So if they wanted to get back to you, with you, the intention would be to kind of like use you as a stepping stone or use that experience as a stepping stone to explore other things or to kind of um, to just have some almost like, uh, what's that word? Validation, like kind of if they're throwing something out into the world and if you are the one to respond, then it's a sense of like they have that power um, and that potential for something they might truly want to move towards as opposed to like moving away from or feeling um, stifled about. So group number one, let's see what you are hoping to get from this person or this connection. We have here the Four of Swords. So it might be like you're trying to heal, you're trying to move on. Maybe you want to get some like some closure. You kind of want to get like mental clarity on the situation so that you don't have to deal with maybe the questions. So let's see how likely it is that you'll get back together with your ex group number one. Ten of Wands. Seems like it, there's a lot that is standing in the way, blocking that potential. And let's take a look at what the relationship would be like if you did get back together. You have Eight of Pentacles, so it would be a lot of work. It would be almost what you put a lot of time and dedication into. Um, whether they would do a lot of the work that might be possible, um, but it, it seems here like whatever type of work it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of heavy lifting. Um, let's see what lesson you're supposed to learn from this person or this connection. Nine of Pentacles. So you're supposed to learn that, you know, there are things that you invest in. There's things that you put your time and intention to. And what results from it is all part of your life experience. And that ultimately it doesn't matter if a relationship is successful or it's not successful, and I guess the definition of even what successful is, that if you go into something, putting in your best effort and having great intentions about it, then you should enjoy the outcome of, um, of the results and kind of know that you did your best and there's, there's really nothing that you need to apologize for um, except if you did things <laughs> that you do need to apologize for, but also how to be like independent and how to like really recognize like you can 
be on your own. You can live your life the way that you want to to live. And um, you can have a sense of value on your own terms. So let's see what advice your higher self has about getting together with this person. We have here the emperor. So group number one, this could be a sense of, you know, if they were controlling, um, that's something that to keep in mind. And also that sense of you can be like the master of your own world. Um, you can really make the decisions yourself about how to live your life and maybe set up a little bit more boundaries about what you want and be clear about what you want. Like if this relationship or this connection was based on either you being hurt going into it or them being hurt going into it and kind of accepting it, um, you know, recognizing that going forward, there are certain standards that you want to hold others to and hold yourself to as well, especially with this nine of pentacles and, and the emperor coming up together. So let's take a look at how how you can move on from this connection. Okay, so group number one, let's see how you can move on. You have this crystals card. So basically clearing out your energy, um, even clearing out things that you're keeping behind, um, like mementos or aspects of your connection with them or um, how you were with them. I'm not saying that you have to like take everything and throw it in a trash can and light it on fire, but kind of get a sense of um, taking time for taking time for yourself. It's almost like this four of swords here. It's like you're hoping to get a sense of clarity and almost like a clean slate, but you can do that on your own without having them answer any questions or try to put in any effort. Like you can take charge of um, taking time for yourself, clearing your mind, physically clearing your environment so that you can like re-energize. You also have this cauldron card. So group number one, you have the ability to create whatever you want for yourself. It's kind of like this is the magician um, in the sense of you can take a different perspective of things and try different approaches to dating or to communicating with people. Um, and you really have control over how things go in your life. It's kind of like the emperor as well. So let's see what else we have. We have this feelings card. So group number one, if you need to like cry things out or if you need to, um, you know, go on a jog to kind of um, get rid of frustrations or if you, you know, need to do some journaling. Um, it's a sense of taking some time to tap into your feelings um, and possibly get rid of some fr frustrations if they didn't want to hear it or if you didn't have the ability to say it, you know, um, you can just like, Maybe talk to a friend or a trusted individual, a counselor, someone to kind of talk about your feelings. And if they're open to it and you feel strong enough, maybe having a discussion with them about it. And then you have blessings. So group number one, recognizing that there is no matter objectively how something looks, there's always a positive that you can bring out of it you know, something about your resilience, something about how you can see a situation, something about how you recognize how you put in effort or, you know, there's 
a lot of ways you can look at something and definitely looking at the positives and I I know it isn't as easy as like look on the bright side but especially when you have these feelings here but you know perhaps as you're going through um, you know a, a drawer of memories that you might have take a look at them as you're clear cleaning up you the things that you have tying you to this person take a look at them how do you feel about them you know be thankful for the good times and you know be thankful for learning how to more about yourself and how to deal with difficult situations when you think about the not so good times and they all add to this concept of the nine of pentacles and the emperor the emperor doesn't just get to be the emperor because they <laughs> found the right chair <laughs> to sit in it's because they put in the hard work it's because they made tough de decisions it's because they won some and lost some and they kept going so group number one i hope this provides a helpful perspective of what your ex wants from getting back together with you we'll see you next time take care welcome back this is a reading for group number two those who pick the dark mansion tarot to explore the potential comeback of your ex and what they might want from you this time we're going to start with an energy check of the connection you had with your ex for additional confirmation of whether this reading is right for you. So these cards may remind you of issues with your ex, things that were said, questions that were left unanswered, themes of the connection or how you feel without them so i'm going to just get a couple more cards here and then we'll go through them okay so you have here security and freedom you have wild side there's a side to you I haven't seen and want to I want to see you let loose and get wild let's have some fun jealousy I'm very jealous I can barely stand it please don't hate me for ghosting you you didn't deserve it and we need to let each other go okay so with security and freedom i think it's interesting in terms of like when people get together there's a sense of security and when they kind of end things it's kind of like well you're free to see other people or you know i'm giving you your freedom so if there were issues of feeling like that one or the other couldn't really do what they want um but kind of came like you guys came together for a sense of security um when they did want to be with you you have wild side and jealousy so maybe there were kind of uh, someone who was um a little bit more uh sexually um adventurous or wanted things to go further um, and then a sense of maybe wondering whether that kind of extends to people outside of the relationship perhaps or maybe now that um, you know the relationship is over there is jealousy over you know who is getting to see that wild side now with this please don't hate me for ghosting you it might not be like you never heard from them again it might be situations where you were expecting to hear from them and like they just didn't contact you in time or soon enough or what would be what's the word um socially acceptable and then we need to let each other go it could be like one of you was maybe them were kind of like um 
not wanting to stand up and kind of say, hey, this isn't working. Maybe they, one of you had to do the work for it and kind of was like, yeah, that is a good idea. This is just isn't working out. But them kind of ghosting you or kind of putting you in a position or one of you in a position of needing to end things because of the delay in timing, something along those lines. So if that seems to resonate, then let's get into these cards and find out what your ex is seeking right now. Group number two, we have here the seven of pentacles. So they're basically kind of almost reassessing uh, a lot of things in life. They're not exactly sure what it is they want. Um, maybe they don't know if they want security. Maybe they don't know if they want freedom. Um, they know that they know that with this freedom, they're free to kind of choose what they want, but they're not really sure exactly if they what what basket to put their eggs in. So let's see how they feel about you, group number two. We have here the moon. So it's a sense of mystery, a sense of like um, a little unknowing. They'd like possibly a more clarity. Uh, there's probably things connected with you, feelings connected with you that they're not really sure, maybe a little bit of fear, um, possibly having to do with, um, I don't know why, issues with their connection with with their mother or feminine energy. So let's see how they feel about getting back together with you, group number two. We have here the Empress, which is interesting because I think they feel like you would provide that security, that concept of like um, this aspect of mothering kind of comes up. Um, and almost like with this seven of pentacles, it's like them not knowing what to do. It's like they'd feel you would help give them that, that guidance. Uh, they also have a sense of, uh, a sexual physical attraction to you. So they definitely would want to explore that. And getting back so what would their intention be in getting back together with you like what is it that they want we have here the hermit so I think they would want your knowledge would want you to kind of show them the direction to go in um, show them how to kind of know where to put their their eggs which basket to put things in um, and also a sense of like they wouldn't want, they don't necessarily want to be alone. Uh, let's take a look at what you're hoping to get from this person or this connection for a pentacle, for a pentacles, excuse me. So there's a, like a mutual sense of a need for security going on. Um, a sense of possibly wanting to have some, like validation and almost a sense of if if they aren't interested does that mean other people aren't going to be interested and um, the answer is yes other people are going to be interested but you have to allow them to see the things about you that would make them interested so this person is like very like closed off um, so let's take a look, group number two, and how likely it is you'll get back together with your ex here. You have the world card, so it does indicate that it is possible to get back with this person. Like it's likely to happen if you allow it, if you want it, if, if almost you put in that work um because i think th they with this moon here how they're feeling about you if you kind of were like this is going to work this is going to be great 
um, you could definitely convince them because they're not exactly sure what it is they're looking for right now. So how would the relationship be if you got back together? You got three of cups. So here it could be that it'll be fun for a while. Um, it also might be that um, there are, are going to be other people involved in this connection. So let's see. I'm going to move, move these over. So for the, yeah, for the three of pentacles, um, this jealousy and this wild side are kind of like popping up a bit. Like it's almost, if that was an issue before, it seems like that might be an issue again. And here, <laughs> this is supposed to be, um, this is supposed to be what lesson you're supposed to learn from this person, which is justice, which is basically a sense of, kind of knowing what's right for you, um, putting in the effort that has like a just result. So I think this is also like you need to, you need to make a decision that you're good with um, and how you kind of give and take, like the give and take in the relationship if, it, if it's balanced. And a sense of honesty, honest with yourself and an and honest with that person. So let's see what advice your higher self has about getting back together with your ex group number two. You have eight of pentacles. So there's a lot of work to be done there. Um, there's also a question of whether or not um, you're looking at that relationship to provide uh, security for you in the future if it's trying to um, use that relationship to try to create a sense of value um, for yourself like here with this four of pentacles like what you're hoping to get from this person or this connection like if you're going to have to put in the a lot of work for this connection to work you might as well work on yourself and kind of recognize that this other person isn't shouldn't be your um your source of self-value that you have a lot of value if you actually you know take time to work on yourself and see what's there you'll recognize the value that you have so group number two let's see how you can move forward from this connection should you choose you have this potion card so group number two you have the ability to kind of take this potion and make new things happen if you want to move forward you can you have that power within you um you just have to decide whether or not you want to make that happen and you have this constellation card kind of like everything is connected there is a reason why people come into our lives um, there's something that you learn from them regardless if it's a lesson that you want to learn um, and ultimately like things will continue on whether or not this connection works out or it doesn't work out you'll still move forward they'll still move forward and you'll still continue to make connections with others um, and you can learn a lot of new things have new experiences if you allow yourself to you also have discernment so group number two um, recognizing like what it is that you should kind of take as red flags uh what is it that you kind of ignored what is it that you shared or what is it that they shared and kind of recognizing like time and place of certain things um 
and to some degree it you have to kind of trust yourself a little bit more um, to recognize that what you're feeling what your gut is telling you to do um, might be something you should trust as opposed to like what someone else is saying or um, what someone else is suggesting or even questioning you about it's like definitely a sense of um taking all taking all the cues of things from the past and the present and kind of figuring out what's for you what doesn't make sense sometimes you're not going to have all the answers and you have to kind of pick and choose what it is you want to believe on your own and kind of trust that in yourself and you have this card of positivity so it it almost is like this potion and positivity working together it's the situation is what you want it to be or how you see it is kind of your choice the perspective that you have how you move forward is your choice and here kind of looking at it as hey thanks for the good times thanks for that um gonna move on gonna see what else is out there who else i connect with it was good knowing you um wishing you the best and you know figuring things out on my own trusting myself going forward and having more of like a positive outlook that's definitely a, the way that i see these cards kind of like you really putting in that work to focus on your uh, your sense of self-love, self-value, and embracing the ups and the downs, and not necessarily question your choices based on what someone else is thinking, their view of you, or their expectations of you, um, or their hopes about you. Like definitely moving forward based on your truth and um, you looking out for your yourself and your best and highest good and making sure that your intentions, you're not compromising your own beliefs and you are, are sticking to your truth. So group number two, I hope this provides a helpful perspective of your connection with your ex and what your ex might want from you getting back together we'll see you next time take care welcome back this is the reading for group number three those who pick tarot disassembled to explore the potential comeback of your ex and what you might want from each other we're going to start with an energy check of the connection you had with your ex for you to get some additional confirmation of whether this is the reading that's right for you so i'm actually i'm going to go ahead and pull out all these cards and ultimately ultimately these cards might remind you of issues with your ex um, things that were said um, questions that may have gone unanswered or themes of like your connection how you felt with them how you feel without them and I'll get one more okay so we have effort and romance we have obsessed i think i'm obsessed with you i think about you all the time stock your socials and hope i run into you when i'm out then we have not the right time i am overwhelmed with responsibilities i don't have time or energy for a relationship you are the only one and i will take action soon please believe in me so group number three here it seems like this uh, obsessed romance and effort 
these three here and even like you are the only one it could be that there was a period of your relationship where they put in a lot of effort they really kind of um did feel obsessed with you they kind of made you the center of their world center of attention made you feel special kind of made you seem like they couldn't like be without you and then this not the right time i will take action soon please believe in me a sense of like there were times where it was like they really put you on the back burner they didn't prioritize you um so there might be like looking back and just be like hey i gave you attention and you were the one wanting you know you were the one wanting my time you were the one putting my effort in and then like all of a sudden you're kind of left out in the cold and kind of wondering what happened so if that resonates for you then group number three let's get into these cards to see what your ex is kind of seeking right now we have here the two of wands so your ex is really wanting to get outside of their comfort zone um, kind of explore their options maybe they're kind of um, trying to meet people trying to date um, trying to pursue uh, career moves but they're basically um, kind of making making plans to make moves but possibly also feeling like unsure of how to move forward so let's see how they feel about you group number three we have here the seven of swords so there's liar stealer cheater vibes going on here um but also they could feel that they had it's not necessarily saying you were the liar stealer cheater for some of you maybe that is the case it also could be that there were things that they were hiding from you um that they feel like maybe you figured out or would find out about um maybe it was um they kind of feel like there's something not genuine about the connection and it isn't necessarily on your side it could be from theirs so let's see how they feel about getting back with you group number three we have here the ten of swords so i think they feel that's kind of over and done with um not really wanting to uh, go that route maybe they kind of look back on your relationship and recognize the good and the bad not necessarily just from you but how they were so let's see what would be their intention in getting back together with you or what they would want from you if they did get back together with you. Ten of Cups. So they would want the good things. Um, even if there were, there were bad things, they would want the good things. They would want your emotional support. They would want that romance. They would want that kind of playing house feeling. Um, kind of... Yeah, it's almost it is almost like playing uh, or an act. Not saying it's totally emotionless, but almost like a sense of they weren't even sure of what it meant to be in this type of a relationship. They kind of um, the best way I could explain it is like this: these curtains here and the traditional ten of cups it occurs on a stage and it begs the question of whether the people are truly happy if they are acting the way that a happy family should act um, at, like playing the role of the happy family so to some degree um, it could be that they feel like 
this was like an act with you. So even in the Seven of Swords, you've got that curtain as well. Um, and that basically, it's there's no more pretending. Like this kind of like, we're going to be together forever. You're the one. And knowing that's not necessarily true. Or there might be other people and you're not just the one. So let's see what you're hoping for, to get from this person or this connection. We have here the three of swords. So it's almost as if you are kind of wanting like just to rip the bandaid off. And it's like, if this isn't happening, then let me know. I'm just going to deal with it and move on. Um, it's almost as if the back and forth or the uncertainty um, like kind of doing the mental gymnastics of what the heck is going on um, was kind of difficult, especially if they are they were putting in that effort. They were making an effort at some point um, and wondering, you know, if like who changed or why things changed. So let's take a look at how likely it is that you'll get back together with this person. We have here the nine of wands, again, occurring on the stage. So it doesn't seem like it's likely. Here, there's, um, this is like being worn down, trying to like put in a last ditch effort. Um, but definitely there's hurt going on and trying to protect, protect themselves or yourself. Um, so it's almost as if, if there was a get back together it would be from a place of like being worn down or um just not really caring anymore so about about their future and and getting out of a certain situation or out of a certain mindset so let's see how the relationship would be if you did get back together group number three you have here the Empress. So it would be a sense of healing. Um, there would be a sense of um, maybe that effort and that romance coming up again. Um, and it could like develop into something. It could develop into something that you kind of build from. It seems like with all these swords and this nine of wands, first of all, we got the two of wands. They'd have to want to put in that effort. Um, there'd have to be a lot of healing um, and there'd have to be kind of a recognition that it's gonna take work on both ends. So let's see what lesson you're supposed to learn from this person, group number three you have death. So this is about letting go. This is about transforming, becoming more mature, and um, kind of recognizing there's different ways to deal with loss. You can resist it, you can embrace it, you can deny it, you can um, try to negotiate so it's almost how do you want to move on from a situ situation? How do you, um, how would you want to come back from this ten of swords situation? From some type of like betrayal, um, some kind of like something that just didn't end well or wasn't going to end well? How would you want to rise up from that? So let's see what advice your higher self is going to give to you about getting back together we have here the king of wands so group number three your your higher self is kind of wanting you to embrace this fiery um king of wands energy being confident stepping into your own power not necessarily seeking approval from others but doing um what your what you want to do what you're driven to do 
and to rise up like the king of wands is definitely a uh, you see the salamander but they definitely can change directions quickly they can um be seen one way and decide that's not how i want to be seen i'm going to be something else or i'm going to be seen as some, i'm going to go for something else so definitely your higher self wants you to recognize that you are pretty much all you need you can go your own way and the people that are inspired by you that want to connect with your passion with the love that you have to offer they will they will follow they will be drawn to you so it's also a sense of like it takes a lot of courage to walk away from something um again with this like lesson you're supposed to learn with this death card it takes uh, a lot of courage to walk away from a, a lose-lose situation with your head held high, held high and let's take a look at how you can move forward from this relationship group number three you have this mirror card so this is a card of like reflection and honesty take a look at how things were what is it that um there's a lot of swords here and you got the ten of swords the ten of cups you got the nine of wands you got death so things kind of coming to an end and changes so take a look at what it is that you were hoping for at the time the things that you accepted the things that you um agreed to not for like any blame reason almost like in terms of like this being a judgment card like recognize your contributions maybe things that you accepted from them made okay on their behalf like just look the other way about and kind of have an honest discussion with yourself about you know how things were and why they were that way and how things led to your the end of the relationship and why you ended things either way either way why it ended and kind of what you deserve and we have here this sage card so group number three it seems like healing is a big issue here needing to um, focus on self-love and self-care this empress card here of um, how the relationship would be if you got back together with this empress card this is a card of self-care and healing as well um, it would perhaps be healing to get back together in the sense that maybe you'll discuss some of these things that weren't discussed before but you also don't necessarily need to get back together in order to have a discussion um, assuming that both of you are open to it and feel comfortable with that and um, are in a good emotional and um, mental space for that to, to occur but with the sage card it is a sense of needing to focus on clearing out your um, any negative aspects so if there is to be a discussion trying to not have it be um like coming together to fight but a clearing of the air but you need to almost reflect on yourself a little bit before you can get to this clearing of the air stage and to some degree also maybe like clearing out things that um remind you like physical items or um, that kind of remind you of the bad times or like negative reminders maybe not talking to people about the negativity of it um that seems to to be helpful there like maybe looking at the positives like this death card is how you're moving on from a loss how do you want to be seen um moving on from it and if you have kind of had a shitty attitude about it before well you've got the king of wands here you can change that shitty attitude around and like 
you know, step into something more positive. You have here friendship. So group number three, it seems like um, if you've got some friends that you trust or even friends that you may have um, felt distant from because of this relationship or during this relationship, uh, reach, reach out to them, ask for their assistance, make sure they're like, if there's a goal that you have to like clear out some old items of, of your exes or you know to make sure you're not talking bad about them maybe have a a jar like every time you say something bad uh put a dollar in <laughs> something along those lines and then donate that the the uh, you know for however long you do it then donate the money to some organization um so here we have dive deep so group number three there is something that you need to see within yourself um, it could be that the seven of swords like the something that was hidden it could be on both your sides but here this mirror and this dive deep and this sage card this death card um, there is something for you to kind of recognize and uh, recognize how you are either not letting it go or not knowing that you should let it go. So that's what I have for you. I hope this provides a helpful perspective of what your ex wants from you and what you want from your ex. We'll see you next time. Take care. Welcome back. This is the reading for group number four, those who picked Modern Love Tarot to explore the potential comeback of your ex and what you might want from each other. We're going to start off with an energy check of the connection you had with your ex for some additional confirmation of whether this is the right reading for you. So the cards might remind you of some issues that you had with your ex, things that were said, things that you wish were said, um, unanswered questions, certain themes that would pop up, ways that they feel about you or you feel about them. So I'm going to pick a couple more cards and see what we have here. So we have here trust and memories. So group number four with your person it could be that you had trust trust issues it could be that there are um, aspects of your relationship where um, those things came into play or maybe even for some of you um, you each kind of remember situations differently like that's not um, you know things that you bring up and or mentioned wasn't something that they thought was the case or they saw it in a different way we have i'm lost i don't know what to do i want to take care of you the way what is that you've always taken care of me okay so here it's a sense of possibly some codependency um in terms of this this trust it could be that uh, one person may have kind of wore the pants in the relationship so to say um, basically was the person making maybe making the decisions um, and doing it in a way where um, the concept was that there was trust and doing you know like kind of putting a lot of trust in someone um, maybe getting their approval in order to do something or kind of saying I'm not sure if I should do this or that and if the person was like no I don't think you should do that then kind of really not really maybe questioning it but just kind of going along with it because if they are the ones that are more certain about it then that's okay you have here the future I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. 
and father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. Um, so it could be that there were discussions about this um, getting more serious or being together forever. Um, and with this father wounds, it could be that aspect of taking charge um, and let it, letting someone else um, make those decisions. So if this is sounding like, like you or your relationship, then stick around for the rest of this reading. All right, so group number four, let's take a look at what your ex is seeking right now. We have here the moon. So your ex is kind of in a place where they are trying to understand their emotions, trying to understand their fears, um, probably trying to move on um, or move forward, I should say, with more clarity. So let's see how they feel about you. We have here three of cups. So. For some of you, I feel like they feel you're doing fine, like partying without them, um, and possibly, possibly kind of um, just living your life without worry or concern like they are, or that's the impression that they have. So let's see here. Let's see how they feel about getting back together with you, group number four. We have here the fool. So it's almost as if they, them getting back together with you, it would be both kind of on one hand good because it would be, you know, a direction to go in. Um, it'd be kind of a sense of moving forward and kind of, um, almost like a clean slate. On the other hand, it's a sense of maybe feeling like like a fool, like just that they don't know what to do, so they're kind of going going back to what they did know because they're in this position of really not not knowing how to move forward. So. Let's see here. Let's see what would be their intention in getting back together with you. Like, what do they want from you, group number four? We have here the higher fence. So they want you to kind of teach them. They want you to tell them how how to go. Um, maybe in in these cards showing up so far, it could be that they may have been the one asking you, like what to do and kind of getting your feedback and like you know if they should hang out with friends if they should do this or that and the other and really had issues with kind of making their own decisions but they'd want it they want to provide some structure to their life and so that's what they'd kind of want to do getting back with you and it's almost like with that full that concept of um like a clean slate to try again but already knowing um you know with these memories like kind of knowing how things would go so that it's almost moving forward without really moving forward so let's see what you are hoping to get from this person or this connection we have here the emperor so maybe it worked for you. Maybe you were the one that kind of stepped into that masculine energy, um, telling them how to kind of, how to go about their day. Maybe you helped them advance at school or work. Um, you really had them, like negotiated maybe even social situations for them. Um, and maybe you were the one that kind of took care of of them and that's 
something that you look like you enjoyed that kind of sense of um, being trusted, having that power, having that control, getting to kind of s set someone else's boundaries for them almost um, and kind of telling them like, no, this is what you should accept. This is what you shouldn't accept. You know, maybe you're good at that in your own life. Um, and that's why, you know, they trusted you to do that for them. Uh, or maybe you're not good at that in your own situations. And so it's like projecting what they should do. So let's see here. How likely is it that you'll get back together with your ex here? Group number four. You have here the Empress. So interestingly, you've got like the Emperor, the Empress. Um, it's, it's kind of like you have the ability to make that happen especially when they're in this moon situation where they might be caught up in their emotions and really unsure of how to move forward and sure of their selves, like really not able to trust their intuition. If you wanted to maneuver this, it, I see this as something that could potentially happen, whether or not it's for your best and highest good or theirs, that's something like to be... Um, you know, determined on, on your own, which interestingly, you've got the devil and the ace of cups here at the bottom of the deck as I pulled these cards out. So it's almost a sense of like, <clears throat> it's something that if you wanted, you put that effort into it, it can happen. Um, but it begs the question of whether or not this is just going to continue a, a cycle for you or for them where they're, you know, of how they deal with relationships and probably um, still having these issues up here. So let's see how would the relationship be if you got back together, group number four. You have here Queen of Cups. So it does seem like it would be a loving relationship. That trust would still be there. Um, maybe it could be more like equal, um, more kind of cooperative, I should say with the Queen of Cups. This is like nurturing and tender and supportive and so forth. Um, queens are associated with the element of water and so are cups. So it's kind of like double water. The downside of that with double water is you end up with things like um, intense emotions, kind of like with this moon where, you know, they're kind of seeking, they're kind of seeking, um, kind of going inward and dealing with their emotions so that they can move forward. So let's take a look at the lesson you're supposed to learn from this person in your life. You have here the five of pentacles. So for you, group number four, it's about um, recognizing the potential solutions as opposed to focusing on the problems um, issues of acceptance, issues of like self-worth to some degree. Um, and here it's like this concept of the future is kind of um, popping back up, like almost putting all your eggs in, in one basket. So let's see what advice your higher self has about getting back together with your ex here. You have here the sun. So it seems like your higher self is really trying to, um, to shine a light on positivity, joy, happiness, um, and you making decisions based on your best and highest good. Um, you really can trust yourself almost. I think it's really interesting that your ex is seeking the moon, your higher self is kind of telling you like <laughs> the sun. Um, so it's almost a sense of whether or not you want to go go back down that route or almost, um, almost be in a place of like positive energy and kind of enjoying life without necessarily um, like being, it's almost like, 
like being healthy and being energized. And here this person is kind of, it's almost like sinking. They're not in the water, but they're not necessarily trying to get up. So let's take a look at how you can move forward regardless of whether or not you get back together with your ex, like move forward from this relationship, these issues. You have here this bell card. So group number four, you have the ability to really impact people. Um, your connections with people, your, the things you say, your voice, um, your like the strength that you have, that potential for kind of um really putting something out in the universe and like have that like lead to where you want to go kind of focusing on that like you will have an impact on people um how it affects them um is kind of their journey you being you and doing what you need to do to kind of shine your light you know to kind of um, be in charge of your your fate, that is uh, that's for you. How it's how it impacts others, that's for them. You have this familiar bunny here. So group number four, um, a way that to move forward is to really embrace your senses, embrace your um, your inner nurturer, your inner um, empress, your inner emperor. Um, also to kind of enjoy your environment, like get out into nature. If you're not necessarily a nature person, maybe you look at um, nature stuff on TV, but really um, concepts of growth is what I'm getting here. Like things that you need to to grow, whether it's um, nutrients, whether it's exercise, whether it's um, you know getting some uh, vitamin D with the sunlight, whatever it is. Like focus on on that. So let's see what else we have here. We have be spontaneous. So that's where I get this like sun kind of vibes, like kind of if you have a burst of energy to do something new, something fun, break out of the box, um, be creative, then definitely tap into that. And here we have decisions. So group number four, your decisions, um, again with this, this emperor stuff, um, even the hierophant and this bell, it's as if when you kind of make a decision, you can stick to it if you if you are determined to. Um, it may be that you're good at helping other people make decisions. Maybe that's something for you to kind of look at in terms of a future career. Um, when it comes to being an advisor, counselor, uh, life coach, um, attorney, something along those lines where you can put that to use um, in a broader way where it's kind of like you going on your path and not necessarily trying to, I mean, it is helping other people as they go on their journey, but it's not necessarily um, being in their day-to-day -day lives and making the choices for them. It's helping them almost see their options. That's what I'm getting here for you, group number four. So I hope this provides a helpful perspective of what your ex wants from getting back together with you and what you might want from them. So we'll see you next time. Take care.